when he heard that it was Jesus of Nazareth, he began to say, Son of David, have mercy on me. He ordered him to be quiet, but he cried. Jesus stood still. He called the blind man. He sprang up and came. For you. He regained. This is the word about God. Amen. When I was back in uh, Michigan, I made friends with a lot of people. Two freshmen and two sophomores. On the same floor in Wonders Hall, kind of on the south side of campus. We would for a while during that, during my sophomore Share what was going on in our lives with prayer. And those times really meant a lot to me. And I think had an impact on me. And one evening we had had one of our gatherings and started talking when Chris showed up. Chris was a friend of ours who was actually a roommate, one of the, the our, Jonathan. And he wasn't a Christian. He was very open, or at least trying to what we had to say. Now we had kind of talked, and when it came to the conversation, and We didn't know if he belonged there. While Chris kind of got the message, saying saying things, and he and we continued. On uh, a few days later, when I was talking to him, he kind of confronted me on that and confronted really all of us. And he kind of told me point blank that it was, every one of us wanted him to know the faith. And him answer questions, especially with some of the things going on in his life. And, but and, was blind, he sat on on the way out of Jericho. And one day he hears that Jesus died, and that is when he shouts. The son of David, that phrase that he used,
the reaction of the was interesting, to say the least. They were be quiet. Now, kind of disrupting things, but Hope and to come to meet Jesus. And there's something significant in that throwing off. According to Jewish law, a blind person's cloak, because more that was their only worldly possession. The cloak as he always was a sign. On Jesus. He did something different than what has been done earlier in this chapter with the rich young ruler or even the disciples who could not give up their possessions to follow Jesus. But Bartimaeus wanted to be saved. Not that Jesus. See again. And Jesus does just that. What's fascinating is that Bartimaeus does something amazing. He doesn't just go off on him. I don't know if he was Kind of wanting him to maybe not to heal him physically, but to heal. Pretty. He keeps yelling. He believes that it is only on him couldn't see their own need for mercy. And the crowd wanted order. To be made free. Always struggling with spirit. For many churches are celebrating Sunday, where we talk usually about the beginnings of Protestantism and Martin.
Luther, as his famously um, Luther once said that been thinking only about ourselves. But it is God that calls We don't always do this. Meaning that we are in it, but we are. Are we saved is through the Son of David? Yell for Jesus to have mercy. Because Jesus is the only one that can bring us salvation. A few months ago, I was listening to a podcast from a colleague of mine, and he had a woman on as a guest, Tessa Pinksack. Later, a practices facilitator that has stuck. And this is what she said. The church is the in the world. The church God's work of redemption. The redemption that not just happened, not just happening what in what we just read in scripture, happening now. That work of keeping in our world. One of the slogans of our denomination, the Church of the in Christ, is To hope that hear his cries and bring healing to him. Maybe not physical healing, but I hope healing for his soul. I hope that he was able. And I hope as well. I pray that he is our Savior, the one who brings sight to the blind. Yes. 